mean, I know <laughs> your your house is like in shambles. Your workstation is a mess, and then all of a sudden, like well, the one guy. <laughs> well, I'm just the one guy who who's supposed to be paying you money for something. You know, all of a sudden, everybody's like, "Oh, he might be this, or he might be." That. You're kind of like, "Oh, geez, man, can anything?" Well, else that's fall the problem, right? Guy? I'm not getting paid. Well, I'm a partner in the book, so I get paid on the back end after the book right, funds. Right, right, right. So right. it's like I yeah. really Still need mo, this book yeah. to do well, you know. You're like, <laughs> It's just one. No, but that's thing that's now. the issue, Levi. That's the issue. Is like I've been for the last six months working on this book, meaning I haven't. I've been really taking a cut in pay because I've been doing this book without pay. Right? I've been yeah. working. On Yellow Flash, you fucking idiot! Crowdfund your goddamn book and pay John Dillard. You don't get to line up with Eric July. Eric July had the money to pay everybody. Eric July has Eric July is in a unique position that you don't morally get to be in. You have taken this guy and you've promised him that there's going to be payment on the back end. He's worked six months, nearly homeless because of your principles about anti comic skate and crowdfunding now, you don't want to take any money. This is why crowdfunding exists, you idiot. The reason why Eric can do that is Eric dipped into his own pocket and paid people already. Everybody else has to crowdfund. You can't take talented artists like this, tie them up for six months, while their lives fall apart, and then on top of that, be stupid enough to pick a fight with me publicly. Sit there and complain about me asking for, tell people what my page rate is. Get used to start paying artists. If you want to get into the comic book business, and you're just a fucking talentless writer, fake writer, and you want to put out some fucking YouTube merch and hire a real artist like John Dillard. And you make him sit there and wait for a paycheck. For six months he's working. And then you want to moralize about late books. You want to moralize about crowdfunding. You want to congratulate Eric July and dance around and put pressure on people that are having to use crowdfunding and are working really hard, just as hard as Dillard is, to put their product out. But see, we use crowdfunding, so we have money in the bank. We can pay ourselves a page rate. If you don't have the money to pay your artist up front, you need to crowdfund. And I've never seen anything like this before in my life. You know, I, I'm not following John Dillard's life. I just found out about all this stuff. I figured he was okay because he's your artist and you're a YouTuber with 450, 500,000 subscribers. And surely you have some money to pay him while he works for you. While you're drinking on live streams, fucking starting fights with me. While you're doing all that, your artist didn't have Christmas and wouldn't his kids wouldn't have had a Christmas if it wasn't for the good-hearted actions of, of comic skaters like Dark Gift and Quaff. And this guy should be rolling in dough right now. This guy should be doing great. He's been working six months on a comic book. God only knows how many pages he's got done. I've seen some of them. They're extremely detailed. They're beautiful work. He This means something to him. He's trying to make art. He can't make art if he can't feed his kids.